Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Red version in the awesome episode. We kind of got through a bunch of trainers and made it to town finally. Well, practically to town. So, well, let's go ahead and start exploring. Safari Zone has a zoo in front of the entrance. Outback is a Safari game for catching Pokemon. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Did we heal up last time? We did not heal up. Okay. I think there's a, think there's a gem here. So, we're gonna go ahead and work on that real quick. If I can find it. Oh, come on. There's a tree right there. By the way, sorry about my voice. Uh, it is late at night. So, my voice is not cooperating. Yep, yeah, that's a safari game. Okay. But that's not gonna be the point of this episode, though. Kabuto, book one of those resurrected from a fossil. Cool. Wow, this spray looks a lot different than I thought it would. Pokemart. Let's see, what do you guys have? Actually, you know what? I should, probably, I should probably sell some stuff here. Hang on. Let's see. Uh, nugget. So we don't use that. We have... We don't have Pokeballs or Great Balls, do we? We do not. Very bizarre. Go. Yeah. Go ahead and buy 15. And then I think we'll, everything else will just drop into the PC. Actually, for this episode, I'm gonna leave Oddish in the party since it seems as though we need Oddish. Even I'm not quite ready to, uh, even I don't really want Oddish in the party. I guess we'll keep him right now. That will change though once we leave. So there's a gem. Let's see what do you have to say. As far as the warden is old, but still active. All his teeth are full, so right, that's kind of funny. Bill flies his own, or follows his own Pokemon data on his PC. Did he show you? Yes, he did. Hmm, you've met Bill. He's my grandson. He's always liked collecting things, even as a child. Alright, I think the goal here for this episode is going to be to beat the gym. If we can do that, I think I'll be happy. I think it's a grass type gym too, which means Charizard will be absolutely flawless in it, so. Or no, maybe it's not. Oh, invisible. Oh no, it's poison. That's right. That's okay. Shrink isn't the key for Pokemon, it's strategy. I'll show you how strategy can beat Brute Shrink. Really, that's ironic. It's actually pretty ironic because that's pretty much where I go with, at least in the Let's Plays. And strategy beat table level 59 Charizard. Well, with a level 38 Hypno, that is. Oh, you can do confusion. Surprise, I didn't, surprise I didn't get confused with that. That was our strategy. Mix brawn with brains, good strategy. By the way, you can kind of see the invisible walls here. I don't know if that's an emulator glitch, but... Probably, probably something that was harder to see on the original Game Boy screen. For those of you who don't know, the original Game Boy screen was... kind of green, and kind of fuzzy and hard to see. It wasn't until the Game Boy Color where you could really see what you are doing, so... That's probably... Probably a lot harder to see on an actual Game Boy. Not that I remember, because it's been a while since I actually played this on a Game Boy, but still. Mm, Cadaver.
Yeah, level we'll 60. Another drowsy. I should be drowsy. It's late at night. Well, actually, you could call it arena morning too if you wanted. It's actually like 4.15. But videos need to be recorded. I will keep on training under Koga, my ninja master. I also studied a way of ninja with Master Koga. Ninjas have long history of ninja have long history of using animals. That's neat. Did you weirdly do your uh, grass type gym with Erica? I don't remember. I'm kinda wondering. I hate to say it, but I really can't remember. <laughs> I think we did. I'll have to check the Pokemon badges in a second and see if I'll tell me. Alright, fun fact, I was gonna have this boy with the uh, Game Boy Color palette before. But uh, for some reason that's not working. Even I have a Game Boy Cover ROM in MGBA, so I don't know why. Let's see, uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, I don't think we did, because I think, I think the bottom four are the ones we haven't gotten, and that looks like. I don't know, maybe we did get it. I'm not sure. Uh, if you order it, that Pokemon. Let's see, here's this. Trying to see where this would go. I think we have uh, two two more trainers off to go. Do we, do we get the Koga? Koga Toga. By the way, Bron, I'm trying to make uh, I'm trying to make each episode right now around 10 to 15 minutes in the line. Well, actually, sorry, my 15 to 20. I feel like that's a fair fair length. Uh, one of the recent Minecraft episodes was like 30 minutes long, 35 minutes long. I feel like it's a bit too much, unless it's like a super long game. Oh, he's only surviving one HP. Yeah, the burn got you on you. If we're playing like a super lengthy game, maybe I'll do half an hour, 45 minute episodes, but try my balls. Okay. There's light there is shadow. Light and shadow, which do you choose? I choose shadow. But yeah, I figure 20 to 25 minutes is fair for an episode, I think. It's reasonable enough for people to cope with. Stop right there, are invisible walls. Have you frustrated? No, because I can see right through them. Probably not supposed to be able to, but I can. Matter of fact, I remember being able to do this kind of trick on the original, well, maybe not the original Game Boy, because I didn't have that, but the Game Boy Color. I think you can still see it, it's just here on a bright screen, you can see it very clear, very clearly. I wonder what they did with Fire Red and Leaf Green for that. I wonder what they did, because the graphics you clearly be updated and brighter, easier to see. Ha ha ha. A mere child like you dares challenge me. Very well, I shall show you the true terror as a ninja master. You shall feel the despair of poison and sweep techniques. We shall see. I think what we'll do, we'll take out Koga, and then we'll go to the Pokemon Center real quick, and put away some key items and heal up, and I think we'll call it a good. I think I've been recording now for roughly 10 minutes, so like I said, trying to keep everything a little over 10 minutes, at the very least. I didn't think Muck was going to survive that. Yeah, well, we 61. Nah, that's a pretty powerful Weezing. 
probably not gonna take out. No, I am gonna take out one hit. Humph, you have proven your worth. Here, take the soul badge. Now that you have the soul badge, defense of your Pokemon will increases. It also lets you use Surf Up for battle. Ah, take this too. Makes it out. Oh, this is why we have to visit the PC. What is this do? Rest. Uh, I should write. Yeah, there you go. Right, we already went through those. Give me the TM. Thank you. Toxic. It's a secret technique over 400 years old. I'd like to use that right now, but I'm probably going to save it for a Pokemon. Because I intend on getting, like, Muck and Weezing and some other poison types like that later on. So, probably save it for them. I'm going to fast forward here. There we go. Oh, I jumped right over it. Okay. We have not mastered the fast forward. I think it's way too speedy, actually. Okay. And let's see what, I'm, what items I can put back in the computer. Let's see here, my PC. Pause it. Let's see. Coin case, I don't care about. Moonstones, I don't really need those right now. Lift key, I don't think I need. Silver scope, I don't think I need. Poker fluid, I'll keep because I think I might eat that later. And that's good. Okay, everyone. I think that's gonna be it. So, I hope you all enjoyed. If you want to see, or if you want to see Mark this, hit the like and subscribe button down below the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.